desire for, I guess a desire for peace, some place that's quiet, that no one can find me. This one here was done, actually, I wanted to paint that one. It's called the Ark of Noise, and the purpose for that was not the noise that we experience outside, but the noise that we experience within ourselves. I, I, I've been diagnosed as suffering from depression, so I decided I'm going to paint depression. And even though you learn to live with it, you have to live with the pain. You have to live with the, the voices, you have to live with all the noise that, that one experiences in uh, going through a depressive experience. So this is what I created. It's called the Art of Noise, and uh, and it kind of displays what a person with mental health health has to uh, live with every day. Going through one of my experiences, one of my depressions, she tells me go paint. So uh, she's been very helpful for me, and she's quite creative herself. But she's just discovering that uh, at this time. Phenomenal cook. I think she's a chef trying to get out. But Josie as well has been very supportive of me and I owe a lot of the artwork that I've done as of late to her. And I ask her every time how is this piece of work and if she says I don't like it, I stop I start something else. <laughs> uh, so she's my, my critic. Uh, Picasso, he went to see uh, ancient, uh, prehistoric actually, he went to see prehistoric paintings, um, wall paintings in uh, Altamira in Spain. He was in Spain. What's interesting is he said that in 25,000 years, we have learned nothing. And it's interesting that since the turn of the 20th century, we actually returned to a kind of a primitivism in much of the abstracts. And I think this kind of, uh, for me anyway, it, I'm capturing um, uh, some primitivism in it. As you'll see around my apartment, you'll see I have some African art, so, um, which I really quite enjoy. I love it. it's, uh, its power and its strength. Most of the abstracts that I do all have that kind of theme of movement and, uh, and, and the, the sections of the compartmentalizing. It's this one here. These two I call the uh, um, work in progress number one, work in progress number two. And again, you see the fragmentation, the restlessness. This is actually, um, I was influenced by this by Kandinsky. He was as most people would know, is probably considered the first of the abstract painters. But I was, I was inspired by him, uh, uh, and this, these two pieces of work came out of that. Side and the light, but they're rooted in this abstraction, also in that depression, depression and that, that, that the darkness that one has to live with. But yet, for myself, I still find life. Basically what I'm saying in this is, um, even though I may suffer from mental illness, I find life through the art. And from that darkness, I can create beauty. And again, as I've said so over and over again, it's sort of like my, med my medication. It's almost also my way of um, talking to God, if you will. Because every time I finish, I always say, well, thank you, God, for this. Uh, even though sometimes I get angry with God. Um, I'm an old pre-Vatican II Catholic, so I have my uh, issues. Uh, but still, I, uh, there's a spirituality, there's emotion, there's power involved with the artwork, and I try to capture that. Qui frôlera tes lèvres et vibrant de fièvre, surprenant ton corps? Deviendra ton